do you go to a travel agency or something like that? The airline application po. Okay. So, on this uh, applied business tools and technology, it's mainly about Amadeus or training on how are we able to reserve or book a ticket on the ticketing side of an airline. So, before we start our course, I just wanted to introduce first myself. So, I am Jason Marasigan. I, I'm... I currently graduate at Philippine Christian University. I took my master's for international tourism and hospitality management. So currently, I am a um, hotel manager here in the Philippines. I, I, I am also an instructor at Lyceum of the Philippines University here as well in the Philippines and also National University here in the Philippines. And right now, I am with you guys from ICSA. And then I took my bachelor's at LPU, a Lyceum of the Philippines University. I took BS Tourism Management. But before joining the academe, I'm also a reservation specialist at the Intercontinental Hotel Groups. I believe, uh, are you familiar with that company? There's a lot of hotel mm -hmm. of intercontinental groups in um, Kuwait as well. So after that, I am a assistant manager at Philippine Airlines. So, familiar po ba kayo with Philippine Airlines? Ayan. For the longest time after I graduate, I'm uh, working with the airline industry. I start, I started there as a customer service agent. So, alam niyo po ba yung mga nag-check-in pag kayo po ay umaalis, pumunta ang ibang bansa. Doon po ako nag-umpisa. I started as a check-in agent and then become a boarding gate agent and then after that, after a few years, got promoted as a team leader, as a customer service agent. So mainly, what I am doing is dealing with uh, the passengers who have a concern when it comes to their um, tickets, with the, um, have a concern when it comes to they lost their baggages, they lost, um, they missed their flights, and so on and so forth. So we are mainly handling all of the concern when it comes to their um, travel. Next one, and I also work as a cargo agent at Cebu Pacific Air. So um, basically, my profile or my um, career started with uh, the airline industry. And right now, luckily, I'm an um, instructor of uh, different universities here in our country. And also, um, I'm very privileged that I'm able to um, have this opportunity to teach internationally with you guys. So um, I am teaching mostly here in our country. Um, International Tourism Management Program and Hospitality Program. So these are the subjects that I am teaching. First one, I have um, professional development and applied ethics. And then multicultural diversity in a workplace, applied business tools and technology. This applied business tool and technology is the, uh, one, the one subject that I am teaching to you as well, which is the Amadeus. And then macro perspective and micro perspective in tourism and hospitality industry. I'm also teaching um, front office operations, strategic management, service quality management, travel agencies, operation management. Since I nga po, my experience is from the airline industry, so most most of the subject uh, when it comes to travel and tourism are my forte. So I do have a lot of experience when it comes to um, the travel and aviation industry. So I hope um, we're able to, you're a, I, I mean, I'm able to give you the main, um, I mean, to introduce myself to you. So do you have any questions po, uh, before we move on? Actually, this um, after the introduction, this one is part of your um, activity. So um, guys, I'll be asking so that I'm able to familiarize with you as well. I'll be asking each and every one of you to share or to uh, on your mic. I mean mic and um, cameras. So I want you to introduce yourself. It's our first time meeting each other, so um, I want to be more familiarized po sa inyo. That's why I want you to state your name, also your nickname, kasi di ba most of us have this uh, bizarre name given to our parents, like yung kumbaga sinaluma na, like um, Roberta, mga ganyan, Maria, and some of you guys don't want to be addressed on that manner. So uh, I want to know your name and also your nickname. Why did you choose this course? And then, what are your goals? What are your expectations to this class and to me as a, as your instructor? And actually, hindi nasama, what will be your goals three years from now? Again, I want you to state your name, nickname, why did you choose this course? What are your goals? 
what are your expectations to our class and to me as your instructor? And lastly, what are your goals or what is your goals three years from now? Okay. So, who wanted to volunteer? You can raise your virtual hand. Anyone? Sino pong gusto mag-volunteer? So, wala. Magbo-volunteer na lang tayo, mga everyone. Sa pilitan to. So, let's start with Miss Joanne. Ako po? Yes po. <laughs> Ayan, let's start with Miss Joan. Okay, name John Orepuya from Philippines. Nickname Jo. Why did you choose this course? I chose this course because I'm already working in hospitality industry, but different. So I just want to learn uh, some something more. And what are your goals? Goals in life. Maybe to have this work in the future. And what are your expectations to this class and to me as your instructor? instructor? Um, we're looking for more, sir, to learn about this course before it ends. Oh. That's it. Okay, thank you so much, Miss Joanne. And of course, you'll be learning a lot of this subject. I already reviewed... Um, your um, curriculum and um, all of the um, subjects that we will be tackling or taking on this subject are very much informative and will help you in the near future if you're able to um, pursue a career on the hospitality and tourism industry. And uh, yun nga, like what I've said earlier, no, hindi pa kayo kompleto, I want to congratulate mm -hmm. each and every one of you for taking the initiative that you'll be able to um, continue uh, or pursue your learning because um, kumbaga sabi nga po ng mga nakakatanda po sa, sa atin though hindi pa rin naman po ako matandaan iba pa rin po that you're able to finish your studies and this um subject and this, this institution by ICSA will be able to help you guys especially on pursuing a lot more because um um, let's just face it uh, the, rea the reality if you're not um you know if you're not um what do you call this one? You're not finished with your study. Definitely, there's a um, limited opportunity for you guys. But if you do have a lot, um, I mean, you are able to obtain your diploma and all you have this, kumbaga, para pong bala nyo po ito. And you have the qualification for you to be qualified on the um, jobs or on the opportunities that you want to take in the near future. Okay? So, yeah, thank you, Miss Joanne. So, well, After you, you Miss Joanne, you can now choose who will be your next victim for them to um introduce <laughs> themselves. Again, guys, um the introduce yourself, please don't be afraid on introducing yourself because on the airline and tourism and hospitality industry required po na makapal po ang mga mukha natin. So yes, you should be true. more um um kumbaga oriented when speaking in front bawal po ang mahihiyain dito so that uh, on this type of career that you'll be taking dapat po ay medyo mahilig po tayo makipag-usap sa tao so as early as now that's why i'm asking you to turn on your cameras to be more to speak more on the class because in the near future if you'll be pursuing this career it should be like dapat hindi po tayo nahihiya approachable po tayo and all so we are able to develop not only your skills but also your personality as well so miss joanne so can you start um i mean choose the next one i will choose ate rona okay miss rona Sorry. you can have the floor <laughs> okay hi everyone good morning and good afternoon sir my name is rona villiliama and you can call me rona same as how joanne is called uh called me so why did I choose this course? Uh, it's because I've been working in customer service for maybe seven years now. So I just want the knowledge that would associate with my current work. Uh, it's seven years is a long period, but still I believe I have a lot to learn. And uh, what are my goals? My goals uh, of W is not uh, you know, I don't see as uh, I don't see it as my forever. 
work so i don't plan to be here as an ofw for long so i think my goal is to have or to work to get back to philippines and have a work with the same field or might have an own travel agency so i need this knowledge much and my expectation to this class is I don't. I I don't want uh, no discrimination, but I believe I would learn a lot from this class since it's a Filipino, but no discrimination. <laughs> then, okay. yeah, I think that's it. Okay, thank you so much. How about your three uh, plan three years from now, Miss uh, Rona? I uh, just as as I mentioned, sir, I don't see myself staying here for long. Like this is not my forever. So, why I choose this goal is because. Not a fully goal, but I, 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 I'm seeing or I want to see myself having my own travel agency soon when I'm back in the Philippines. That's how I foresee what my goals, why I took this uh, course also. Oh, okay. Because of that goal. Okay. Actually, Miss Rona, this, when you finish this, sub, this course, I believe you're able to have the cheese on what the airline industry is. Like, for example, I'll be teaching you in the Amadeus part on how to book a ticket. And basically, when you're running a travel agency, what you just need to learn is how to reserve a ticket, how to sell mm -hmm. into the customers on mm -hmm. something, so on and so forth. And basically, I'll be training you on how are you able to do that on uh, your subject. So... I, um, I'll be able to impart all, all of the knowledge that I learned from the airline industry. Hindi, hindi rin po ako ganong katanda. Wala naman pong ibang nationality dito. Ano po? Is it okay for me to speak in Tagalog? Wala ano po, po puro Pilipino po lahat yata dito. Okay po. So, ayun po. Ako po ay hindi po ganong katanda. Though, uh, when I um start when I start working with Philippine Airlines, Cebu Pacific Air, on, or on the aviation industry, I started working there as early as 19 years old. So mostly po, bata pa lang po ako, nandun na po ako. At hindi pa rin naman po ako katandaan. Ako po ay 30 years old pa lang. So lahat po na natutunan ko as much as I can, as long as it's under our... um our um, syllabus, I'll be teaching all of the experience that I had so that you'll be able to learn. Because nga po, I really salute all of our kababayans or our OFW because I am also a product of a, um, most of my titas are OFW and they're the one who paid my tuition. So I wanted to give back as well. So I'm able to impart all of the knowledge and give you a... Uh, a chance that you deserve in life as well because like what miss rona will told us earlier um working in kuwait is not her long-term goal so um on the industry on our industry um there is no discrimination when it comes to age so um on the airline industry way back when uh the other president mr uh rodrigo duterte he lifted all of the um um, age limitation when it comes to working and like on the other co countries some of the countries are not limiting uh, their applicants it's just that before on the airline industry po, there is a certain limit when it comes to age like for example when you reach 30 years old then definitely some of the airline are not hiring you anymore because you are two season but right now after that lifting of the age bracket so definitely all of the um applicants as long as you're able able you are qualified and definitely they'll be accepting you here in our country as well so ayun po kumbaga hindi na po ganun before po kasi ay siguro mga 28 29 ayan hindi na po sila natanggap but yun na lang po on the aviation industry on the airline industry and also in the tourism industry the harsh truth about the uh, our industry is mainly they are focusing on our special uh, physical appearance so what i'm um also i'm also be imparting you the knowledge and how are you able to present yourself uh, we're not requiring you to become like a supermodel or a beauty queen and all but I want you to obtain on how to be more presentable when presenting yourself to others, how you groom yourself, how you present yourself, how to speak properly. Because in the tourism and aviation industry, it's not all glitz and glamour po. Kumbaga, unang-una, hindi, 
yun nga lang po ang, ang ano sa industry natin when you are trying to apply on this industry they are more focused on our physical appearance so dapat hindi lang po tayo natututo but we are also taking care of ourselves as well unang-una po natin dapat ginagawa ay ang pag-aalaga po ng sarili natin kasi sa industriya po napapasukin nyo after you finish this course ang una po tinitingnan sa atin ay kung hindi po tayo kung gaano katalino ang pang, pangalawa lang po ang ang talino sa industry po namin sa airline or also sa tourism and hospitality industry ang una po tinitingnan ay physical appearance so hindi naman po required na sobrang ganda sobrang ganto as long as you are you have the right personality okay, yeah. as yours as long as you are confident uwi na lang ako and as long as you hi Miss Maribel yes po, po, po. good morning hi. Good morning po. Hindi ko kasi ako bumunta ng school. Online pala lahat. Ah, oh, po. Ay. Ayan po. Sige po. Ayan nga po. Like what I was sharing earlier, yun nga po. We have to like be more presentable din po. Hindi lang po like focus sa pag-aaral. We have to be more focused on working on our personality and also our physical appearance as well. Again, hindi ko po kayo nare-required maging beauty queen. Pero po, mas maging mukhang presentable po. Okay? So next po, Miss uh, Rona, can you choose the next one? Mm, sige pa. Uh, uh, Miss Christine Joy. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Ayan. sir. Good afternoon in Philippines. Can you state your age as well when you are um, saying your uh, introduction? It's just that para at least I'm able to be familiarized sa inyo po. Like, Miss Joanne, how old are you if you don't mind? If you are confident enough on sharing your um, age. <laughs> ano po? How old are age you? Age How old are you? <laughs> age? Um, 20. Lang taon na ba ako? Kalimutan <laughs> <laughs> ko na yung age ko. 1998? 20, 25? Mukhang si Miss Joanne, when, when she started, like, ah, uh, um, but after you turn 20, you stop counting your age. Tama po ba? Parang gano'n na nangyayari. <laughs> okay. Ang bata pa na Miss Joan. Pag nasa abroad kasi nakakalimutan na ang edad. Nakalimutan na po pati birthday niya. Nakalimutan eh. Uh, How about Miss Rona? Ilang taon na po kayo? 31 years old po. Pero almost 32 na rin. In March, April. Medyo ka age bracket ko po si Miss Rona. Ayan, ako po'y 30 years old. How about, yeah, let's have now Miss Christine Joy. Can you introduce yourself po? Okay, sir. Good afternoon again, sir, in Philippines. Um, I'm Christine Joy Valencia, 26 years old. You can call me Christine or CJ. And why did you choose this course? I chose this course because I'm currently working in the customer service and hospitality. So I need to enhance more my knowledge about this. And what are my goals? My goals is to finish this course so I can apply in another in another company to grow my to grow my skills more. And what are your expectations to this class? Again, to gain more knowledge, sir, from you <laughs> and this class. Then, what else, sir? The another question, the three years? Three years from now, what will be your goals or your plans on your career mm. or your personal life? You can um, explain more about that. My plan after three years is I'm currently working in a, another company with this uh, field. Field of work, oh. sir. Okay, thank you so much. I believe, um, lalo na po sa Kuwait, there's a lot of opportunity, right po, um, when this kind of um, field as well, with the tourism and hospitality industry, if you're able to finish your course here with EXA, there's a lot of opportunity that you're able to um, pursue after uh, you graduate. Tama po ba ako? Yes, po. I'm... I'm planning to cross country kasi, sir. Okay. Saan po ang balak nyo, ma'am, if you don't mind? If you want to, o oh, ayaw nyo pong i-share kasi baka ma-jinx. Diba? Most of the kababayas, they don't want to tell their plans. Because baka mausog, sir. Yes po, uh -oh. yan nga po. Kaya, if Mas you don't mind lang sharing naman po. Okay. Um, Europe. Oh, I Masyala. see. Masyala. 
Inshallah, sir. Yaman ni Miss Christine, right? Inshallah, inshallah. I claim it. Kikiklaim ko to, sir. Uh, yes po. Ayan. Mas mabuti po yung mga ganaan. As long, di ba po? That, why, why I'm asking you your plans three years from now? Uh, the main reason that I, I am asking you this, since you already have the first step or initiative on uh, taking this subject, why not? a dream more, di po ba? Pagkatapos okay. na po nang makuha yung uh, course pong ito, di ba parang ang sarap pa pong mangarap, parang napakarami pa pong opportunity na pwede po tayong gawin rather than nung hindi po tayo nakapagtapos ng pag-aaral. Like for okay. example, Miss Christine Joy wanted to cross country, want to take, um, or to pursue a um, career in Europe. So, Iba po ang pakiramdam pag meron po tayong diploma. Di ba yung iba po, sabi po nila, like for the younger generation, I'm, I'm also teaching college here in our country. Their gener- the, the younger generation right now, they think or they thought that um, college graduate doesn't have a, um, kumbaga wala na kung ganong bigat yung diploma ng college. But uh, if you go to other country, some of the um, um, some of the nationalities are discriminating if you didn't finish your studies. Like um, they thought that you're not able or you're not that capable in uh, um, doing such job. Even though, di ba, di ba kayo nga po, nagagawa niyo po ang trabaho niyo. Then let's face it, nagagawa niyo po ang trabaho niyo regardless kung tapos kayo o hindi. It's just that, um, di ba, may iba po talaga na bansa, hindi ko po sinasabing dyan sa Kuwait, pero may iba pong bansa na mas tinitingnan pa rin po yung capabilities natin when it comes to our studies. Kaya nga po, I wa- I'm asking you your plans three years from now kasi po, iba po yung pakiramdam na may plano. Di ba tayo po, ang OFW, syempre, kayod tayo ng kayod, ang dami natin ginagawa. Lagi po natin nakakalimutan kung bakit po natin inumpisahan yung mga bagay-bagay. So, I want you all to be reminded kung bakit po tayo nandito. That's why I'm asking you your three years plan for now. So after you graduate, kung ako pa rin po ang instructor nyo, babalikan po natin kung paano nyo po o ano yung initiative nyo, kung paano nyo po gagawin yung mga plan. No? Okay? So next, let's move on to the next next victim. Miss Kristen Joy, you can call the other yes, one. Sir, uh, I choose Ate Nalisa. Okay. Talaga. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, I am... Maria Nolisa Dalyamas, but you can call me Nolisa. I'm I am a housekeeper currently working here in Saudi Arabia for that. Miss Nolisa, like can you turn on your camera? Sorry po. As sir, sorry oh, po. Okay, uh, okay lang po. Wala po akong hijab kasi Muslim po kasi ako. Ay, sige po, sige po. Pasan siya po, pasan siya. Uh, po. Sorry po. po. Uh, hindi ko pa lang po napalitan yung picture ko. Sorry po, sir. Okay. Uh, anyway, ah okay you can call me Nolisa. I am 39 years old and I am a housekeeper here for the longest time, like 10 years. I'm, I'm here um, here in Saudi Arabia and I choose this course because I want to learn more from hospitality and also for ticketing, especially. Um, my goal in life is uh, 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 like three years. Uh, I want to go to other country like New Zealand, Canada to work as a other uh, hospitality position and what is your expectation to, to this class and to me as your uh, to you as a, to my instructor uh, to learn from you more about what is the what is the thing that I can learn from you, sir, especially in ticketing? Because this is my first time to have a class like this. Thank you. How about your um, goals, ma'am, three years from now? I just like uh, Christine Joy, I want to, to go other country, to cross country. I don't want to forever here in Saudi. That's it. Okay. But parang lahat po ay gusto nang tumawid ng ibang bansa. I don't, uh, do, if you don't mind me asking, parang lahat po ay parang gusto nang umalis. Hindi po ba kayo um, Parang, um, sir, <laughs> no, parang growth po. ba, sir? Yan, to oh, change uh, environment because for me, yes. I'm working for the longest time here for 10 years. That's why. Oh, okay. So bagay career growth niya rin po. Pag yes. Po, but, yes. Mm. May learnings so, naman sir sa ano namin, sa job namin. Yun nga lang sir, yeah. kailangan it's pang ma-enhance. Be- yes. It's better yeah. to have uh, grab other opportunities outside of mm. Middle East. That's it. Oh, okay yes, po. Okay po. 
Sige po. Baka too personal okay. na, right? Pag nagtanong mo po na ibang information. <laughs> But again, um, thank you for sharing, Miss um, Norliza. And okay. I'm very much um, appreciative that you'll be working there for um, 10, 10 years and above na po. Tama po ba ako? Okay. So, ayun po. So again, Miss Norliza, congratulations on taking the first step that you'll be able to, um, that you wanted to pursue your um, studies. So again, Miss Norliza, maraming salamat po. Pwede Thank you din po sir. Nang susunod po ng biktima. Sa inyo. Yung lalaki natin si Mr. Maurice. Ayan, Sir Maurice. Siya lang yata po yung lalaki. Mr. Maurice. Parang nakatulog si Sir. <laughs> sir Maurice. Sir, andan ka ba? Paggalaw po ng baso. Ayan, mukhang uh, we can skip Sir Maurice. I believe he's not Okay, uh, si Miss Maribel na lang po. Si Miss Maribel. Maribel. Hi, Ayan, good si morning. Sir Maurice, naka-open siya ng camera. Sir, kayo po ang next na tinatawag po. Ay, medyo mahina po kasi signal. Sorry po. Ayan, okay lang po. Okay lang po, sir. Sir, uh, uh, yun nga po. Please introduce yourself, sir. Uh, my name is Maurice De Leon. Uh, call me uh, Maurice Amau or why did I choose this course? Uh, I choose this course because uh, I want to experience another uh, career. And what are my goals? Of course, I want to finish this courses and to find another work and what are my expectations my expectations is um, or as a step to to a new career In the three years from now sir maurice what will be your plan Three years from now, because I'm working as a cashier in restaurant, then I hope I'm not working in a restaurant, of course, working to travel and tours or other working, uh, other work, like a... Uh, Uh, related in the uh, in my course. Okay. Thank you so much, Sir Maurice. For sure naman po, once you finish this subject, you do have the, um, kumbaga may bala na po kayo no. para po makapag-apply dun sa iba kong sangay ng turismo or the tourism industry. So, ayun po. Thank you so much, Sir Maurice. Before we continue with the introduction, so as per checking here on my attendance, only Miss Ronaville, Miss Joanne, Miss Christine, Miss Joanna, Sir Maurice, and Miss Daphne had their attendance. So, sino pa po ang hindi nakakapag-attendance? Pasuyo naman po ako ng attendance. Sir, ako po. Ayaw po kasi... Okay po. I'm Sige po. Sir. Naitawag ko na po kay Miss Sige po. I'm done, Naitawag sir. ko na... Sino po yan, ma'am? Maribel. Uh, check ko po. Ayan. Ma'am, ako po ba ang pinili niyo instructor? Wala po kayo sa akin. Ronaville, Joanne, Christine, Joanna, Maurice, and Daphne lang po ang nandito. Miss Maribel. Nag-sign na po ako ng assign ko, attendance. Wala po dito sa akin, ma'am. Sino instructor ko yung napandot mo? Nandito na yung... Ayan. Ayan. Remind ko lang po yung mga hindi pa po nakakapag-attendance. Please do have your attendance before we continue the introduction. Maribel. Okay. So, next po, Sir Maurice, you can now choose the next one. Chase. Sir Maurice, sino po ang gusto niyong next? Sorry. 13. Um, Di ba po tapos na si Miss Marvel? Uh, Miss Kristen Joy na lang po. Ito, 
Okay, Miss Christine Joy Valencia. Parang tapos, tapos na po. Tapos na po ako. Sorry po. Okay pa. Hmm. Yan lang po ba? Parang ako na. Na dalawa talaga. Parang si Miss Juliet. Ate Maribel, tsaka si Ate Juliet. Si Miss Maribel yeah, na Miss Juliet na. Mm. Sige po, si Miss Maribel na lang po. Okay, Miss Maribel. Kaya daw po ang next. Hi po, good morning. Ayun. I'm Maribel Katin po. I'm 34 years old. For now, I'm working as a housemaid. Uh, for nine years here in Kuwait. My goal while I'm choosing tourism, hospitality and tourism management, because I want to learn something and I want to upgrade myself. Uh, three years from now, I can see myself as uh, working in the field in tourism, hospitality and tourism management. Uh, my plan, I want to to work in other country to experience the the um, the other field in hospitality okay thank you so much miss maribel i believe all of you are able to pursue the career that you'll be um choosing after your um graduation or after finishing this um course because There are tons of opportunity not only in Kuwait but in the other country as well, even here in the Philippines.